Hi everyone, oh my days. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. It's your favorite guy, Fia. How's everybody doing? Oh my days, it's been long overdue. I've been meaning to make videos, but I've not had the time. So today I decided that, you know what? I'm coming back. I'm coming back to make a video. I'm gonna give you a little life update. So what I really wanna talk about today is my first time going to Dubai, my experience what I saw, how I felt, did I enjoy it, would I go back, would I recommend it, and yeah. So let's talk about my first time going to Dubai. How did I find Dubai? Oh my God, it's so windy, I have to go back inside. No, 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 no. My, my bonnet is about to fly off. Wait, let's go back inside and do this video properly. So yeah, I'm back inside now, let's talk about Dubai. In my point of view, when I went, I feel like, I didn't know that Dubai was so expensive. And I'm the type of person, I like going to nice places. I like eating out in nice places. I like seeing beautiful things. So when I go on holiday, I like to go on holiday to explore. So I'm going on holiday and I'm typing in best restaurants near me. And I'm looking at the one that has the best review and I'm gonna to go to that one. And most of the time, that is going to be the most expensive. So Dubai. I planned this Dubai trip with my friend. We planned to go together. And weeks coming up to us actually going to the trip, we fell out because she was just moving weird. And I just thought, you know what? I'm going to do a solo and I'm going to go by myself and I'm going to enjoy. So I took myself to Dubai, booked my hotel, booked my flight. At first, I stopped off at Romania because I wanted to get, I had a, ch a little chip in my teeth. I wanted to get fixed and I wanted to get my teeth whitened. But they, when I got there, they didn't do it for me. So I took advantage when I was in Romania and used their spa, their thermal spa. And then I proceeded to go into Dubai. First thing when I got to Dubai was taxis are very expensive in Dubai. Um, it accumulates very quickly. Let's talk about expenditure and how much I spent in Dubai. I was in Dubai for six days and I can't tell you how much I spent out there. I spent a lot. I was doing a solo trip. I paid for my hotel. I paid for food and I paid for everything by myself. <laughs> and I was just like, why is this place so expensive? It wasn't making sense to me. I'll go to a restaurant and I will buy food. And by the time I finish, I'm paying like, when I obviously convert it to English money, I'm paying like 200 pounds. Sometimes I'm paying £70 for one person. Cocktails in Dubai is like £15. I kept, I love a Long Island, so I kept going to have a little cheeky Long Island here and there. And I wouldn't just have one glass. I end up having like two, maybe three. And it's £15. It's £15 per cocktail, so it's 15 times three. Do the maths. So Dubai is very expensive. If you don't have money, don't feel pressured to feel like you need to go to Dubai. You need to be very prepared before you go. As a female solo traveler, is Dubai safe? Dubai is a peaceful and safe place and nobody's gonna come and hurt you. Nobody's gonna come and harm you. I did get bumped here and there because they've got these um, other taxis that are not really supposed to be picking up passengers because they're not registered and like they'll tell you yeah 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 it's the same price as uber you get in there and they're telling you for us for a journey they're like you know it's like 60 dirham and then you get to your destination they're telling you it's 300 400 dirham so they have people out there that actually will defraud you when you're out there dubai has low crime rate and i personally didn't experience any fear I didn't feel like, oh my God, I don't feel safe. I felt very safe. I made loads of friends. Sometimes I would go out and I'll meet someone and they'd be like, oh my God, your hair doing a solo. Do you wanna come out with us? Be like, yeah. Other times I would just go out by myself and I would eat and I would drink. And sometimes people look at me like I'm weird. Like, why would you come here by yourself? You're such a pretty girl. Where are your friends? Where's your boyfriend? But what people fail to understand is sometimes you need time alone. You need time to reflect. You need time to find yourself. You need to be alone sometimes. Just take that time to yourself. Just be on your own. It's good, it's good for the soul, it's good for you. I came across a lot of um, immigrants, especially people from Ghana, I'm Ghanaian. 
when I was out there, I saw a lot of Ghanaians that were actually out there hustling and working and trying to make money. And some of the things that I was told was that Dubai is really hard and they felt like they were discriminated against and they felt like they were being treated unfairly because of their skin colour. So they would get paid 300 dirham at the end of every month and it felt like the Egyptian, the Asians, the Arabs were being treated more fairly as opposed to them. And me being Mother Teresa that I am, I was just encouraging them, saying that, you know, it's always better than, you know, where you've come from, because if where you came from was better, you wouldn't be here. So just hang tight, hold your head high. It's expensive, but it's a beautiful place. Um, would I go back? Not for now. I would not go to Dubai anytime soon, because as much as I enjoyed myself, it's not a place for me. I feel like everything was so fake including actual people. That's not what I'm about. I'm authentic. Would I recommend Dubai to you? I don't like being told where I can and where I, where I can go and where I can't go. So I wouldn't want to do that to anybody. It's up to you. If you really feel like you want to go to Dubai, please take that trip. Go and experience it for yourself and make your own decision. I feel like Dubai is overpriced. It's quite boring if you ask me because it's such a small place. It's not given. It's not given. It is a beautiful place, don't get me wrong. It's amazing. It's a place that you would want to go and see. Dubai, I feel like, has no soul, as in it doesn't really have its own people. Dubai is mixed with loads of different people. It's multicultured. We have people from Bangladesh, people from Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Ghana, Nigeria. Everybody's come together in one place, and that's what Dubai is. And... Um, I felt safe, but I just felt like some taxi drivers can be very dangerous. I kept getting into arguments with these taxi drivers because they were just trying to bump me. Another thing that I felt, is I felt like people over, I feel like people overhyped Dubai. Because when I got there, I was like, is this what people keep hyping up about? Mm -hmm. What's this? And being out there as a female solo traveller, I felt like I was discriminated against. I felt like people were judging me. People would look at me and be like, order. Like, I mean, I feel like they're trying to say that someone's ordered me, like, to come there. I don't know. But I went there with my own money, and I feel like people need to stop judging people. Some of us work really hard, and we are allowed to enjoy our money. It's okay to see a woman that's very independent. Women are capable of doing things on their own. It doesn't always need to be a man's money. It doesn't always need to be a man's taking care of a man sponsoring a woman. I did it on my own with my hard-earned money. So I feel like you just shut up and stop being judgmental. But yeah, obviously there is a lot of sex workers and there's a lot of females that go out there to obviously do what they're doing, but not all of us. So please don't come out and judge me and don't come and put me in the same category just because you see other people doing it. As in... <laughs> Dear life, if you catch me being happy, please just let me enjoy you. I've been through a lot that even if I had to say, words will entirely fail me. Past trauma has taught me to always strive to put myself first and protect my heart. I've grown to love the woman I'm becoming and I'm content with myself.